<clears throat> excuse me welcome back to my channel i am back today with um just a couple things that i purchased and then i won a giveaway on the crafty cricket um i believe it was a challenge giveaway too i i meant to write all that information down and totally spaced it so it's the crafty cricket i will link her channel down below in the description she um she's a wonderful person and um who is going through some hard stuff right now and um elizabeth is uh you know i i don't wish that on anybody um you know i was thinking about it the other day she actually lost her husband i believe back in november or december something like that um but um i was just thinking about her the other day and what i would do if that happened to me and I lost Greg and um you just really never know what you will do you know I think I would be depressed I would be hard for me to even leave my house um because Greg is such a big um bundle of strength for me um he helps you know when we go out of the house I have um great anxiety sometimes um, especially around a lot of people, so when we go to the store and stuff, but he's very good of, at noticing when I'm having that anxiety, and, um, and I don't know, you know, you just never know what you would do if you were put in that situation, and, um, you know, but this life is only temporary, so we're all gonna, at some point, go through it, and, um, and yeah, I actually lost, um, this weekend, um, a dear teacher. Not only was she um, one of my teachers, but she was a the teacher for both of my kids. And um, she was my mom's really good friend. And um, and then when I graduated from college, she um, I actually taught with her as a colleague. So um, so she's it, it just really knocked the breath out of me when um, when she passed away. And, um, you know, it's just, um, I still have my days about my mom passing away and it's just, um, yeah, it's, it's hard. And maybe that's why I've been, I've just like been procrastinating so much, um, the last couple of days. It's very beautiful and warm here today and I may go out and plant, I got some seeds, um, flower seeds and I may go out and plant them, but I just have had a really hard time getting motivated. Um, I did make me a cup of coffee before I sat down, so I'm drinking my coffee. I don't know about anybody else, but I always need, like, an afternoon pick-me-up. So, um, but I wanted to show you a couple things that I purchased first before I show you the giveaway that I won. And it's like a D-stash giveaway that I won. But first, a couple weeks ago, I showed... I'm doing a swap, a rainbow swap, and you have to send like six things in six different colors to your partner. And the things that I ordered that were orange finally came in. And I ordered these on Amazon. Very reasonably priced. I will link them down below in the description. But they're from Buttons Galore and more. So, um, super pretty. That's what I got for the color orange for my partner. And then, um, this is something new that I'm trying. It is called, it is made by Laura Geller, Baked Balance and Brighten in the color medium. And it is a, um, foundation. So it's like a powder foundation. Very smooth, very slick. So far, I am really liking it. Um, I didn't know if I would, and I use a brush like this to apply it. Um, I didn't know if I would like a powder foundation as you get older and you get like the wrinkles under your eyes and you know, if you put product in there, then that will crease and crack and yeah, it's just the whole thing. But, um, I don't get it under my eyes. I just use my oil and my concealer under my eyes. So, excuse me. And then, um, I use this. Now, this is the color medium. I would probably have to go to, if it was winter or something, I'd probably have to go to the color light to medium. Just because this makes me look really tan. 
and it kind of matches like my neck where I have gotten some sun. So, um, I may have to get a different color if I wear it in the winter, but I will also link this. Um, I believe it was $36, but they had a $3 coupon on, um, Amazon and I had a gift card. So, um, I really didn't pay anything for it. And, um, so there is that. I'm going to link both those down below in the description. I will link Elizabeth's channel, the Crafty Cricut. And now let's get into it. She sent me a big bundle of goodies. So, um, these things are first. These are Revons. Revons. How do you do that? It's like paper. Or maybe you just fussy cut them. I don't know. But we'll see. This is my mind's eye. Metal Arc Dawn Rub-Ons. <coughs> and then you get a two-sided Miss Elizabeth's two-sided stickers. Um, these are all about um, the sea. And then I got a few sticker sheets. So there are those. This is some rub -on transfers. And these are all about... Um, the happy couple getting married. Um, so that will go in that float folder. Now these are definitely rub -ons, I think. Yeah, these are rub -ons. Um, so these are super fun. I thought I would use these as little seals on envelopes as I, um, send out mail. And then I have these, um, these are called funky glitter, retro funky glitter. So those are nice. Here are some metal paper clips. They are in the um, music notes style. And then here are some like, um, oh, I can't think of what this is called. Like, um, huh, canvassy um, embellishments. This is a removable tile decal. So, um, I may cut this apart and use it as embellishments. Just use it on some embellishments. Here are some window clings for Christmas. And now, I will get into this big package that she sent me. And it is full of goodies. I won't use everything. Some things I will give away. Um, I'm going to have a series of giveaways, I think, here on my channel. Just to increase my subscribers. But I got this 6x8 printed cardstock, 65 sheets, color and create projects. And it's like a travel um, booklet. But you can um, color this. And I was just looking through some tote bags the other day and I found my um, color pencils. I didn't know I'd lost them, but I found them. Here are some Jelly Belly socks. These are really thick. They're really nice. You get three pairs. So, um, those are nice. Next, we have these stamps. They're originally from Hobby Lobby. Um, they were $9.99 and then on clearance for $5.99. So, this is a great price. But these are like sewing inspired. Kind of vintage -y. The Girls Papery by Margie. So some stamps. Here is some blue, um, like glitter mesh with little um, bling on it. Let's see, what else do we have? This is a phone grip and stand. So it's like a pop socket. Um, I'm wondering if I, I may even have a case that that would match really good. So we got that. Here is a Scotty Dog like um, chipboard um, um, booklet. Here is are a bunch of sticker flakes. I'm not going to go through all of those, but there are those. Next we have these um, little picks. Beaded picks. 
Love those. And even if I don't use the beaded picks, I will use the beads. Super cute. And then we have some leather flowers. And I would probably put these together, put a brad in between them to use that. Here is a card that she sent me um, from winning her challenge. Super cute card. This is a squishy sticker. I don't know how I'm supposed to put it on something because I love to squish it. And it's a gingerbread man and my name is Ginger. So I don't know if I'm going to put it on my desk. Here is some nesting heart cutting dies. Here is a little notebook with strawberries and cherries. I could do that, use that for a swap. Um, here is some cardstock stickers. This one says give thanks. An Easter egg and a snowman. I really like the snowman. So there are those. No, no. My dog wants to bark. Here are some little puzzle pieces that, and uh, corners that can be used for embellishments. These are Little Dude's Girl, little cardstock um, embellishments. Here is a laser cut for grown-ups, and this is an Easter egg die kit kind of um, embellishment. Then we have this one, which is Wedding. Um, inspired their cardstock stickers. These are super cute. These are snails, but they're like wax seals. You can use them as stickers or, but they feel like wax seals. Um, so I might use them on like the outside of an envelope when I mail something, but they're super cute. Here is a Twinkle Friends um, like note pad type thing. Here is a present um, album. Super cute. I think I may use that because I can fill this with pictures and um, just kind of scrapbook with it. Here are some crafting pack, paper pack from Dollar Tree in all of these colors. Let's move this stuff down. Let's see what else we got. Here are some Christmas cardstock stickers. Here are some fruit stickers. And um, some snowflake sequins. Here are some cardstock. No, these are not cardstock. These are chipboard um, dimensional ephemera. They're pretty hefty, so there's that. Here are some. Um, now I would use these on a like a birthday card for a child, probably. Here are some more of the cardstock stickers. Here are some more um, chipboard stickers. And this one is a bunch of sentiments, stamps, you can use those. Here are some Hello Kitty and Friends stickers. Now I just have to um, decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to give away. And then um, organize some giveaways as well as put what I'm going to keep, put it away. Here are some more chipboard stickers. And Christian Cole stickers stand out. I'll probably use, put these on a birthday card. Here are some vacation um, stickers. Welcome to the zoo. Here are some rub-ons. And they are unicorn inspired. Here are some of these wax seals. My, um, my Dollar Tree never got them. Or, no, I never saw them. So there is that. Here is a diamond painting sheet. Comes with everything you see here. Some glittery um, embellished sweet treats. 
Here are some more chipboard stickers and another chipboard and another twip, tw twip board, um, chipboard. <coughs> Here are some fun felt embellishments stickers for um, Christmas. Here we have some other stickers. They look like little planner stickers. Here are some um, chipboard stickers. Here is some gold mesh bling. And another diamond painting. This one is a keychain. And then we have all these cardstock papers. Really great quality. These are six by six. Do a quick flip through because they are so pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. The colors in this are just beautiful. So I will go through these. I will keep some of these, but not all of them, just because I am not a vintagey type person. Let's see what else we got. Let's see if I can pull it all out. And then we can go through it. putting this stuff back in the package because I want to either decide if I'm going to use it or um, and then put it away. Here is a melting snowman ornament. Um, I may save that for a swap because in Christmas at Christmas time we usually swap um, some ornaments. Here are some purple um, glass beads and little glass jars. I love this little candy piece. Um, and it is full of beads as well. So there is that. Here is a nail polish fast gel nail lacquer by Maybelline. I'm thinking I may use this. It's still good. I'm going to maybe use it on my toes. Here are some chipboard stickers in this little pink bag. Here are some, I was going to say seed beads, but they're more like little rock pieces in this mini jar. Here is Carvent air freshener called Little Joe Metallic Cinnamon. Little Joe may go in my car. Here is a, an acrylic sticker for summer. Here is another ornament, which I'll probably keep this one because it will totally go with my decor that I have on my Christmas tree. Here are some little sheep, bunny, and duck embellishments. Um, yeah, they're, they're like acrylic. Here are some coffee cups. Some Cutter Bee scissors. Super sharp. I've always seen the Cutter Bee. I've never purchased any. This is full of cabochons. Sweet treats, fruits. A unicorn, a flower. Popsicles. So there are those. Here is a sheet of stickers. These are shaker stickers um, full of sweets with heart shakers in them. Um, here are some Valentine stickers. And I really like this lace type stickers. I'm going to use that somehow. Here's some more sweet treats stickers. Which Where were these when I had my sweet treats swap? Um, these are acrylic stickers. I wonder if you can paint these. I may have to try it out. Or I could put Nuvo drops on them. Here are some little zoo stickers and some monkeys. Here, um, these look like more planner stickers, but you, they have a lot of sentiment, so you could use them on your projects. Here is some nail wraps. They kind of match the ones I have on right now. Here are some rhino stickers. Save the chubby unicorns. They call a rhino a chubby unicorn? I had no idea. 
this unicorn has curves. So, a rhino is called a chubby unicorn. If you did not know that, leave me a comment down below because I certainly didn't. Some more chipboard stickers. Here are some paper flowers. Those are cute. And some fall um, cardstock stickers. Here is some Easter cardstock stickers and Christmas cardstock stickers. Here are some little tags in here. Um, oh, they're cute. They're super cute. They look like almost a cookie sheet, but I may save them as a Christmas one on my tree. I don't know. And then here we have some birthday cardstock stickers. Here's some summer cardstock stickers. Here's some flowers. And the last thing are these posters. Pom Pom Purin, Hello Kitty and Friends, and Kuropi. Kur Kuropi. Oh, and then there is this little, um, like, old-fashioned motel key ring, which I know some people have, um, it's almost like a surfboard. Um, they have decorated these and altered them and used them in swaps. I was never able to find these, but I got one, so I'll save it. But that is my D-Stash winnings, <clears throat> as well as the Laura Gell Geller Foundation and the Buttons Galore and more yellow, uh, yellow, orange jimmies that I got for my partner in the Rainbow Swap. I will link everything down below. I will link Elizabeth's channel, the Crafty Cricket, down below. And go over and give her a follow. She could totally use all of our support right now. So everyone have a wonderful day. And I'll be back soon with another Crafty Planner or Beauty video.